Marseille once again came flying out of the traps and Saint Etienne quickly find themselves one down as it was two in two games for Gianelli Mbula. And just before the half hour mark, it was two. Francois Clerc dilly dallying. Had his pocket picked by Andre Ayou, who picked out Dimitri Payet with time and space to beat Stéphane Ruffier. Well, Levert were given a glimmer of hope after the OM defence went to sleep. Jonathan Brissan thumping past Steve Mondonda. Marseille, though, saw it out to go clear at the summit. Bordeaux had to show patience against Rennes, but finally got the breakthrough after fine work from Girardon youth product, Thomas Touré. His quick feet. And then cross-finding Wabi Kazri for 1-0. Well, Rennes, though, appeared to have rescued a valuable point as another substitute benefited from another's fine work. This time, Mohamedou Habibo tapping in after a powerful run and shot from Abdoulaye Dugari. But Touré had the last word with quite a stunning strike. First professional goal, and all three points. Paris Saint-Germain have acquired a habit of throwing away leads, but they were instead having to do a recovery job as Serge Aurier forgot which side he played for. The online Toulouse fullback helping Wissam Bagnéder grab his ninth in his last 11 games. But quick thinking from Marco Verratti released Jean-Christophe Barbac, the 21-year-old rescuing a point as Paris fall further off the pace ahead of the visit of Barcelona to the capital. Leo recovered from their first league defeat to Nice in midweek as Divock Origi put Bastia to the sword with his third of the season. That ahead of their Europa League clash at Wolfsburg. Leon looked to be on course to record back-to-back -back wins for the first time in the league. And Bakary Kone headed in Alexander Lacazette's inviting free kick. But Kone went from hero to villain as he needlessly conceded a penalty. And Jordan Verito fired past Anthony Lopez for a share of the spoils. Rance suffered an incredible goalkeeping crisis as fourth choice Syriac Garel ended up between the sticks, but the 18 year old had no chance as Falcon finished off great work by Gaetan Busman. Chris Mavinga then saw red for two bookings eight minutes apart, and soon the 10 men were two behind amid Kashi first for Metz from another. Busman cross. Mads Albeck also saw red as Rance finished with nine, but deep into injury time, Falcon grabbed his brace and Messi's dream return continues. Nice left Monaco with the South Coast bragging rights as Carlos Eduardo's free kick put the Principality side to the sword. First win at the Stade Louis Du for six years and Monaco's fourth defeat out of the Champions League clash with Zenit. It was the battle of the promoted sides as Caen travelled to Lens. Their last meeting in the corresponding fixture in Ligue 2 finished with three goals and two red cards in a Lens win. No such excitement here, sadly. 0-0, the final score. Evian continued their Ligue 1 resurgence with a maiden away win. Jack Karija Kone heading under no pressure with just two minutes on the clock. Well, Lorient laid siege to the visitor's goal but were hit with a sucker punch second as Cedric Barbosa's first of the season secured a 2-0 win. Montpellier took the lead against Gangon just three minutes into the second half. Suleiman Kamara making the most of his chance to start ahead of the injured Lucas Barrios. Claudio Beauvau looked to have grabbed the French Cup winners a point seven minutes from time. The six previous meetings at the Stade de Mouzon finished in a stalemate, but Victor Hugo Montagno wrote a different ending with a minute remaining to steal all three points. Well, week eight, an overall tight affair. Only two games finishing with more than a goal difference in the wins for Metz and Evian. Only 20 goals over the 10 matches, which produced just two away victories. Well, Marseille reassert their status as top dogs, although Bordeaux doing a good job of keeping in touch with Lille making up the Ligue 1 podium. PSG now five points adrift after their fifth draw, while Saint-Étienne drop to sixth.
We're going on to replace Evian at the foot as Pascal Dupré's men's back-to-back -back wins. Sees them jump two places, but still in the relegation places just above Reims. Bastia and Lorient's poor form have them just outside the drop zone, but only by goal difference. Well, first versus third as Lille will hope to stop the Marseille juggernaut with Bordeaux hoping to take advantage on Friday night away to struggling Reims. It's last year's pairing on Sunday night with PSG and Monaco looking to kickstart their campaigns.